Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So let's say uh, you've got an oil tanker right here. There's been an oil spillage. Uh, the thickness of the uh, of the uh, of the spillage is um, is 0.1 meter. When the radius is dead on 50 meters, the uh, the rate at which uh, the radius is increasing is one meter per per hour. Okay. So knowing knowing the thickness of the oil, knowing that when when the radius is dead on 50 meters, the rate at which the radius is increasing is one meter per hour. Um, knowing this, work out the rate at which um, the the oil is spilling out of the tanker. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, you you need something to connect everything, and um, and and it's the volume of this disc, if you like, um, that that connects everything. So the thickness, remember, the thickness is um, is 0 0.1. Okay, so so basically, work out the area of the uh, circle here, and then times the thickness. That will give you the the volume of the oil. Okay, and uh, and bear bear in mind that um, when well, this here connects everything. Okay, um, but bear in mind that as time goes on, the uh, the volume is a function of time. The volume depends on time as time goes on. Um, the radius uh, also. The, the the radius increases over time, so so you can say that r is a function of time. Um, you see, the the thickness of the oil it, it, it's it's not really a function of time. Um, pi is not a function of time. The only thing that's a function of time is is the volume and the radius. So from here, this is a thing that connects everything. Use implicit differentiation that would take you to here. So this so so when you when you come to differentiate this, this will cut. That this will give you dv by dt, and then when you come to differentiate it with respect to time, uh, this thing here goes down, so that that will give you this. Um, this here is a constant, and don't forget r is a function of time. So uh, so you 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 would differentiate this as normal, but then because r is a function of time, you've got to stick dr by dt. Okay, so that will then take you to this, and now now uh, when when you're here. Um, when you're here, at this precise moment in time, when the radius is 50 meters, the rate at which is the the rate at which the radius is increasing is one meter per hour. Okay, so so at this precise moment in time, when the radius is 50 meters, so at the precise moment when when the radius is 50, okay, dr by dt is given by one. Okay, and um, and well, this is a constant, a constant. So, so when when you get to this stage here, um, at the precise at, at the precise moment in time when when the radius is 50 meters, um, dr by dt is is given to us as one. Okay, so so we can stick in the radius, which is 50 meters, at, at that precise moment in time, and then at that precise moment in time, dr by dt is one. So now. Now all that well, this is what we've been after right from the start. The rates at which the oil is, is the the rate at which um which the the oil is being added to this this disc here. Okay, we well we were after dv by dt or or all, all along. Okay, so we were after this. So hang on. So that would give you um dv by dt equals this. Um, so, so, so the 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 rate at which the oil is being spilled is is given by this, okay.